Today, I'm going to be showing you one of the oldest tricks in the book that can make your sound elevate. I can take it from one level to the next level. And this is called parallel processing or parallel compression. So what is parallel processing? What is parallel compression? It is basically taking an, uh, an originally squashed or, or a squashed signal. So you take a signal, let's say a drum or a vocal, you carry it and then you compress it, squash it a lot and then you blend it with the original signal and it trust me it sounds a lot better let me let me show you what i mean i have i have like a um, a small bit that i have created here if you guys that watched my tutorial in the last uh, the last compression video tutorial if you have not seen it by the way it will be on the screen to be somewhere on the screen somewhere here so you can go and watch it as well i created this bit and this is what we're going to be using for our tests right Sounds good. So let's 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 do it on the drums. Let's start with the drums. Let me just um, adjust this so that we can all see it well. All right. So I have my drums here. My drum percussion. My this is I have like just three sounds in my drums. This is just, uh, this shaker pack and this snare and then this kick. Uh, so now we, we are going to put the three sounds like this and then route them into um, a drum bus. That's what I've done. Or let me just show you how to do that because some people might not know. So all you need to do if you want to route anything to a drum bus is select all the sounds that you want. Maybe say, oh, this is all our drums. Come to the next available channel, right click here, and then you see route to this track only. Once you click it, it routes everything to this track only. So if I play it now, you shouldn't hear any sound because it's, this sound is muted. And then if you play it, you should hear everything, right? So everything here, you can see this little wire. Everything here is routed to this track sustain. But I've already done that, so let me route it back to my drum bus. This is my drum bus here, right? So I can remove this one from uh, the drum bus. All right. So this is my drum bus. Now, how do we do parallel processing? Like I said, it's a, this is our original signal. All you need to do now is send a copy of this signal of these drums to another channel. So I would do. I would do. How do we do with that? Just come here, right click here. You can easily you can click route to this tra track, but all you to do is just send a copy to that place, and you will not be able to like process that one individually. But I'm gonna show you a very 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 crazy trick. Click sidechain to this track, right? Not sidechain to this track, only sidechain to this track. Once you click it, you should uh, you should have a copy of this here. But what we'll go, let's just, just name this uh, drum comp, right? Let's name it drum comp. Let's give it a nice color here. <laughs> All right, so there's this plugin. This plugin is called Fruity Scent. You can find it somewhere in your, um, and if it's not there, just come to more plugins and search for Fruity Scent. Bring a fruity end in there and then right click. Once you right click, anything that is connected to this particular drum track will be shown here. So I have my drum comp here, just select it. So now what it has done, it has, it has sent a copy of these drums here. So we have we now have two copies of the drums. So we have one here and we have, we have another one here. So you can easily mute the drum boss and process this one. Right, so now what we want to do is we're going to put a compressor on this uh, drum compress drum drum comp, and then we're going to squash it a lot. So let me use let me use a a basic compressor. Let's use this SSL. I, I, and by the way, I'm going to show you how to do it with the stock plugins for those of you that don't have access to plugins like this. So um, if you pick a a slow attack, it means you're going to allow you are going to be allowing the transit and pass through like we talked about in the previous uh, compression video but we don't want that we want to we want to do something really crazy we want to squash it we want to squash the sound so i'm going to do a very very fast attack and then this is the slow uh the slowest release that we can get right i'm going to put it to this uh 1.2 seconds and now it should be squashing the, the the life out of these vocals in fact i'm going to do a ratio 10 to 1 right so i can squash it a lot we want to squash you want to destroy these uh drums so let's 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 you can hear how it's sounding already very squashed 
Imagine this is your drums. <laughs> nah, nah, you don't want your drums to sound like this. And and by the way, guys, I'm I'm actually not feeling too good. As you can, if you can see my my face very well. I'm actually not feeling too good today. And the fact that I actually took my time, even in the times that I'm not feeling too good, because I felt like I've not given you a tutorial. Like it's almost a week I did the last tutorial. So. Please do not let my effort go in vain. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that I can keep giving you more knowledge and more knowledge. This is it's free. I'm doing this for free. So help, 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 help. That's the only way you can help me. So if you're not subscribed, do that right now. Let's jump back to the uh, lesson. So we have our already compressed sound. You can give it a more, uh, it's a little bit makeup gain so I can bring up the, the uh, squash sound. So now, this is our original sound. This is our original drum. And this is what we have done now. Right? You can squash it as much as you want, or you can make it as crazy. Squash it. Right? So now, what parallel compression is, is we're going to take this one that we have squashed, and then we're going to blend it in our original drums. You will hear how magical this sounds. So this is our original. I'm just going to blend it, blend it in. All right? Now, hear how that sounds. Let me mute it so that you can hear the effect. Off. On. See, it brings it, it brings the drums to life, right? And if you don't have, like I said, if you don't have this compressor, you can always go back to our OG FL Studio compressor, which is the switch limiter. Let's do the compression setting and see if I can make this larger. All right, so let me mute the original one and then we can have this one. So these are our drums right here. Give you the nice threshold. You want it because we are planning to squash this thing. So give you the very, very crazy threshold right this is like 10 to 1 so we are compressing it a lot so this is a very relatively slow uh fast attack and then a slow release so you can bring up the makeup gain so you can hear what you have done as you can hear it's very very compressed like if i mute if i stop it very compressed very very squashed in fact, we have destroyed, we have destroyed these uh, drums. And now what we do is again, blend it in the original drums. Right? Off. On. See how it just brings it to life. It brings everything to life. And you can do this with vocals as well. Uh, Cause I we recorded vocals the last time, so we can do this with vocals. So early in the morning, come to my YouTube channel. I don't even mind if you leave a like. Right. So let's let's just carry uh, a channel. We we'll do the same thing here. Just right click and then side change to this track. Right. Put a fruity scent on it. And then uh, send send to the uh, next channel, which is insert two, and then we're we're, we're gonna put a compressor on it. Let's use the let's use the limiter again, all right? So very easy thing to do. Just come to comp. You can mute the original signal. Early in the morning. So let's squash let's squash this. Put put a crazy treasure maybe like five to one. So now this is over, over, over compressed sound. So now we're going to blend that sound with our original. Early in the morning, come to my YouTube channel. I don't even mind. So let me, let me solo, let me solo the uh, vocal so you can hear. Listen, without it. Early in the morning. 
Welcome to my YouTube channel. And with it, I don't even mind if you leave a like. Leave a like. Please subscribe, please subscribe so I can teach you more and more. So, so basically, it just brings it brings everything forward. It brings like if you want something to be more punchy or like you want it to be like more intentional in the mix, you want something to be in your face. Most likely, I do this for my drums mainly. When I want the drums to be more in your face, you want you want a drum that when people when the drums hit, people will know that mm, something has come in. Parallel compression is, is is one of those crazy ways to do it. And once you do it, once you can nail this parallel compression, prior compression, you, there's ah Jesus, you, you you can achieve a whole lot. So. This will be the end of today's tutorial. See, if, if you want to learn anything, if you're interested in learning anything, just let me know in the comment section. I'll get, I'll get to it. I'll make a video about it. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Please subscribe before you go. And if you're looking forward to uh, watching the video on compression that I made earlier, it should be somewhere on the screen. So please click it and go and watch it. All right, see you on the next tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to support the piano, subscribe. And if you don't like this video, go. Just go.